Welcome back programmers. In the today's section, we are gonna find out the user is logged in or not. So this is my blog app and in here you can see account name equal to test which is my username and i created the href link to change the password i didn't do anything you can see i didn't create the url it's just for features and i'm gonna show you how you can change the password of particular user so in the today's section we are gonna see how to check out if the user is logged in or not i am logged in so that's why i am seeing this test but what if i didn't logged in so i'm gonna see let's try so this is my login and registration this is my home so let's try to log out you can see I am logged out and in the blog home you can see please register or login in the blog home so this is showing please register or login because I am logged out now and you can see this message you have to login or to see and create post in this site so how you can make this system to check is the user is logged in or not so if I go in here login and if I logged in with test so let's try you can see whenever now I can go in the blog you can see account name equal to test so that's how you can redirect in my site I'm gonna change it in the features but let's now see how you can make this algorithm to check this user is logged in or not and for that so this is my blog home app and this is my function so the first thing you want to do is you want to create the object of user now if the user is logged in or logged out you are gonna get all of this information with the request dot user so you have to pass this user in the html file you can see i just passed now you are thinking why we got request dot user because we are storing all of this data in this administrator page you can see you are authorized as test but let's change this into system which is my admin account now you can see i just logged in with another account so if i reload in here you can see the name is changed into system so you can see this is my users and in here i stored all of this account which we registered in our page so you can see all of this and this is the test so Django has a facility with the use of request you can check out which account is logged in and you can get all of this information about that person who logged in even you can change the password and stuff but we are gonna do this in the later video but in the today's section let's see how you can check the user is logged in or not so you can see I just passed the user now if you want to check the username so you can do is to name equal to request dot user dot simply username when you can see password too but this is not simple you can't see directly the password so just don't use the password you can just use the username to see the name but we don't want to see the name in here so what we are gonna do we are gonna just pass the directly user into html file and let's try so this is my blog home dot html you can see I just passed the user in here now I am checking if if user dot is authenticated it means if user is logged in so I am displaying the name of the user and I am displaying the you want to change the password or not and I am gonna display the all of the title post and I am gonna display all of the stuff for logged in user only but what if the user is not logged in so in the else section you can see i just pass please register or login you have to log in to see and create post in this site and you have to pass the end if to if you know jinja format so that's the way you can see the user is logged in or not so that's the simple way you can see i just print the user dot username which is username but if the user is not logged in if this condition is false so it is gonna automatically call this condition which is please register or login and i just pass the link of register and logged in here let's try to log out first so this is my logout system if i click in the logout you can see the first condition is false if user dot authenticated no user is not authenticated that's why i'm seeing this please register or login so this condition is called 
but if user dot is authenticated let's try let's try to authenticate user i'm gonna pass the test and password in here you can see i got hello test but i don't want to log out so i'm gonna just go in the blog you can see the first condition is true so that's why i'm seeing the account name equal to test which is username dot sorry user dot username in here you can see if user dot is authenticated yes user is now authenticated so i'm displaying the user dot username and change password and i'm gonna display my title post and all of this stuff in here in the next video i'm gonna show you how you can create the details page to redirect for title to post so that is it for today's guys that's how you can create the algorithm to check if the user is logged in or not so that is it for today's guys if you just like this video don't be shy like this video share this video to other django developer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video comment me what you missed in this video and what you want to see in the next video so that is it for today's guys till then just code